All right, and welcome back. I uh, decided I want to get into a little bit more gameplay, so I'm going to ease in with the Dire Wolf 21.20 mod pack for Minecraft. Um, do note that there is background noise this time around, most likely. That's because young women will be young women, and I don't have a recording studio to hide in anymore. So let's see. So I'm hard difficulty. Uh, this is my second time uh, attempting this, and I had just used Strixcraft 333 last time, and it dropped me right in the middle of a gigantic dark oak forest. So hopefully the 5 added on there will change that at least some. And let's see what we get here for a seed. Uh, Direwolf20, pretty much my favorite Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, I like watching his uh, single player Let's Play series mostly. And 1.20 has become my favorite edition of Minecraft, and I've been waiting for a good mod pack for it. This is uh, the 1.4 version of the Direwolf20 1.20 pack. And my second attempt at recording this video. It crashed, and along with me not liking the seed that much, I just decided to delete it, start the whole thing over, try again. Hey, that loaded pretty quick, actually. Uh, let's see what we've got for a spawn. Uh, there's also the fact that last time I tried doing this video, it was two and a half minutes of silence because I forgot to turn on my mic. <laughs> ah, mistakes abound. Come on, load the terrain, drop me in. I want to start punching trees. Oh, I don't want to punch trees, but that is how you start the game. And I'm not sure I'll have trees to punch. Let's just go ahead. Yeah, I will. Okay. Mark spawn location before I move. Haha, <laughs> trees. And I'm not in a giant dark oak forest. That's great. I mean, I'm going to miss having dark oak right from the beginning, but a jungle over there, that's going to be awesome. Let's get this tree knocked down. I don't think FTB Ultimine is in the pack. Well, if it is, it's not on that key. I was thinking about using my own little mod pack I had built because it's much closer to uh, the game that I'm building. I built it to essentially be the seventh era of Chrono Conquest. Let's get a little bit more planks there. An axe and a pickaxe. And now I'm not going to be messing with any more wooden tools. And of course, right as I'm recording, I start getting text messages. This is why I have my phone quiet as hell. Alright. Uh, hey, I've got a waste stone down there. I'm going to grab that. That'll be great. Hello, bee. What kind of bee are you? Green carpenter bee. Oh, that'll be fun. So let's head over to this jungle and see if I can find some bamboo. That doesn't look like a bamboo jungle, but hey, you never know. Yep, there's some bamboo over there. All right. That'll be great for starting. And there's kelp over there. That'll also be great. Nice. Now if I can just find some sheep. I can go and grab these other things anytime. Cluck, 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 whatever, chicken. 
You keep clucking, little chicken, and I'm going to cook you. Okay. Do we have any kind of sheep that I can see anywhere? Yes. Thank you for the map. I can see that off to the west here, we've got four sheep on the map. They're going to be right round over here. Man, I am surrounded by jungle, aren't I? But still quite a bit better than being stuck in a never-ending dark oak forest. Come here, Mr. Sheep. Everything went wrong on that attack. Okay. Let's just come look out this way what we got cute little islands lava running down desert oh yeah that's definitely desert over there so I guess let's aim for the eastward go get things out of the <coughs> wild uh, that's some farmers delight that stuff that typically my wife plays with while she and I are playing together. So I'll have to actually figure out how to farm for myself. I'm usually playing with her. Let's see. Still a ways to go to get over to that stony beach. Don't even have it on the mini map yet. Come here, chicken. I want some more food. And I need a feather to be able to make my uh, brush. What is that? Uh, yeah, just the brush from Minecraft. Because the reason 1.20 is my favorite is I love archaeology and digging up the past. And now they added archaeology. So I get to play with a nice modded Minecraft doing things that I love, digging up the past, finding loot. Looks like some oil out there. Don't know what mod pack or what mod adds oil in. At some point I'll probably be figuring it out. Hello B. Uh, Sulfur. Hey, there's some coal. That'll be great. Be able to make myself a campfire to get started. A little afternoon. Call that about 1 a. Oh, 1 p.m. So I don't know where exactly I want to live in the world or overall what I'm going to be doing with the series, but this is going to be the episode one. Uh, I'll probably in future episodes cut out the mining or maybe do some live streaming mining episodes talking with people. Ooh, pellets. More food. Uh, I do kind of need to figure out that whole live streaming thing. That would be very effective and useful for continuing on content. Oh, man. This is a very thick jungle. I, I guess all jungles are thick. to do some create stuff so get this kelp ASAP. Now I will say do not watch me playing this pack to be able to learn how to do things. 
I just kind of fumble around and see what works. I do a lot of stuff manually rather than setting up automation. Because it doesn't bother me to do things in a more manual fashion. You know what? I'm gonna make a boat. And get my crafting table back. Guess it works better if I'm not in the boat. All right. And let's see. Maybe digging into one of these cliff faces next to the water wouldn't be a terrible idea. At least for a starting home. Let me grab this flax. That'll come in handy so I don't have to hunt spiders in spring. bamboo forest. Zinc ore. I can't mine that just yet. Actually, I can't even mine that. So let's just buy wooden pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make the bed because it's getting about that time. Uh, and a stone pickaxe. Might as well get my furnace while I'm in here. And a campfire. There we go. Need to find a place to live. Because I don't like the idea of dealing with a bunch of mobs. Not yet. Okay, and I can grab some of the zinc now. Surface ores are my favorite ores, because I don't have to go looking for them. So I'll go ahead and grab the rest of this out. Interestingly, I haven't seen any of the uh, arc wood logs from Ars Nouveau yet. I'm going to need those because that's another mod I'm wanting to play a lot with. Because I like Ars Nouveau and I very much like... Okay, what... I don't know what just happened there, but my computer is being weird. And things are about to get louder as my wife has just made it home and the dogs are going crazy. Because their favorite person has just arrived. I don't know what that is, but that looks scary. I'm just going to shove off here, grab this copper. grabbed enough of the surface or for now let's look for a place to live uh, yeah I've got enough of those for farming Ooh, look, pumpkins and I only barely made it into the water there very used to grabbing pumpkins again for my wife who usually does the farming. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that a jungle temple? Right there, jungle temple. Um, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and go check that out but beforehand. Because I don't trust my prospects at surviving easily. <laughs> Let's just 
craft up a chest with our boat. Put that back in the water. With all of that stuff in there. Alright. That's going to be a bucket already with a pickaxe. Nice. Okay, so on to this temple. I don't have any torches yet. I don't feel like playing their games, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to grab stuff. Oh, well, there we go. Got a sword now. Ender Pearl. Uh, bamboo spikes might come in handy. Potion of mana. Compressed iron. Well, I don't need compressed iron. I know nothing about pneumaticraft in this current form. So there's kind of no point in me messing with it until I'm learning. Oh, that's a cool gem. Uh, I don't know much about apotheosis either. Let's see, I'm just going to break these out and walk in. Wow, that lagged hard. Okay. Spell, Wild and Spike. Music Disc. Dark Steel. Some gold. And the rest of this stuff I don't really care much about. I am going to grab, however, some of these components. Doubly so, since they come with arrows. And now time for me to get back out of here. Uh, the Ender is currently only used to get mob heads, but it is a sword. A free sword. My favorite kind. Okay, any more iron up here on this beach? Nope. Just coal. I'll take the copper, though. I don't know if I can make copper tools in this pack. Again, my own little pack I made it has copper tools. And I love that. Okay, there are mobs under the ground there, so I guess back to the grind, looking for a place to be. Let's go ahead and drop off some of the stuff that we already have in there. Back out on the water. Okay, and I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Overgrown tower of some kind. But since I don't directly know what it is, that means it's most likely added by a dungeon mod, and I'm not ready to go there. <laughs> So yeah, I guess this episode is going to be pretty much just me looking for a place to set up a home. And grabbing early game loot, because it's everywhere apparently. Another B. So I don't know what mod it is here that's adding all of the different Bs, but there's lots of Bs. So 
so this looks like a pretty beach. Let's look at the map here. Uh, we're rolling up on a village. Uh, there's wooded badlands to my west over here. That is a really big jungle. But it looks like potentially plains up here where the village is. I don't like settling right next to villages, though. And there's my Ars Nouveau trees I was looking for. The Ark Woods. That's an Ark Wood Forest. That could be a really pretty place to set up. Uh, so, yeah, let's go see what's beyond the Arkwood Forest a little bit, get further away from the village. I'll come back to that village when I have more loot room. Uh, right now, I'm kind of out. I don't want to be far enough away to have that unloaded. Oh, look, a river. That makes getting through here a lot easier. So we'll have the Arkwood Forest over there. And looks like a Macaws Bridge over here. Going to nowhere. Two of them. And here we go. I see a nice mountain. Uh, let me just mark my boat. Go away. I don't want it. No soliciting. Solicitation's not welcome. So, let's see. I think this could be a cool mountain to dig into. Yeah. Dig into the mountain for a starting cave and then live out here in the plains adjacent to the savanna. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. We'll call this home. And with everything crazy going on in the house and everything, I think I'll call it here. Uh, in between this episode and next, I'll make myself a cave and start my spiral down into the depths and get some mining done. Uh, I'm still going to put my Discord links in the bottom uh, or in the description for uh, the Chrono Conquest Timeless Adventure Discord. Uh, feel free to jump on in. I, why shouldn't I shield for my own thing in my videos? Until next time.